How's it going guys? My name is Josh and these are our molds. We were given these molds by somebody who collected them for almost 30 years. Some of these are over 40 years old. There's probably about a thousand molds in here. And each video I'm gonna take one of these by random, clean it, restore it to the best of my abilities, and then fill it with slip and see what beautiful object comes out. So if you're interested, go ahead and stay tuned. How's it going guys? Josh back again with another mold that we're gonna go ahead and clean up and cast. This is actually the mold that we had from last episode where we found this missing piece. Um, it was actually mixed in with the like puzzle kind of that we needed to put together to be able to cast those last molds. Now, as I said in the previous video, if uh, this is your first video that you're seeing, this piece right here, if you notice it's a different color, the outside of this, um, keep in mind these molds um, we got from someone that were just put in their backyard, they were in sheds, there were spiders and bugs and all kinds of dirt. The outside of this is actually quite a different color, so who knows how long this original piece that originally went to this has been separated. It could have been separated for more than 20 years. So the fact that we're able to find this and put it back in its home is something really cool. And today we're gonna go ahead and clean this out. All right, let's go ahead and just open it up and see what we have to work with. Oh, all right. Looks like this one's gonna need a little bit of a deep cleaning. If you can't see, we got a lot of different dirt inside of here. Spider webs and all kinds of stuff. So let's go ahead and put this to the side. Here's the extra piece that we found. We did a little bit of cleaning up on that last time because we weren't sure what it was part of. Let's put that right there. And then we have the other side of the mold. This side isn't as dirty, but you can see right there on the, I think this is a dog. His face is quite dirty right there, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of cleaning on that. And as always, I do like to see if I can try to find a date. Um, just to be able to see when it was manufactured. But it doesn't look like it has a date on it. But let's just say that this is probably quite the age with how the discoloration is on the outside. Um, it, it, it's gonna be more than 10 years old. It's probably gonna be a more than 20 years old. So let's just say that, it, that it's old. But let's go ahead and start cleaning it. There we go. All right, so I think that this is about as good as I'm gonna be able to get this one cleaned. Um, I'm a little worried, because if you can't see here, over time and erosion and everything, the spot right here is a little bit pitted, so it's probably gonna come out in the mold like that. Um, we might be able to file it off, I'm not sure yet but I am excited to see how the actual like head of the dog and everything else turns out. 
So let's go ahead and piece it back together. This goes here. All right, let's go ahead and bring this to the slip room. All right, here we are in the slip room. We already have it all Velcroed up, but we actually have it in this blue little tub because it's a little bit warped and it might leak. So we don't want it to get all over the place, but let's go ahead and fill it with slip and see what comes out. All right, so it's been a few minutes and we're gonna go ahead and pour out whatever's gonna come out of here. Probably not gonna be as much as some of the other ones that we've done just because a lot of the holes in here are small and they solidify really fast. My guess is the middle hole where the dog is a little bit's gonna come out. Not even sure. Let's go ahead and see. So as we can see, nothing really came out of the small little holes because those are all just going to be like solid paws and stuff and maybe then maybe an ear. But as you can see, a bunch came out right here and this is actually the like base body of the dog. Alright, so it's been about five hours. Let's go ahead and uncover what is inside of the mold. We do. <laughs> the question is, will it come out? Exactly. Will all of that pittedness in the side of the mold be okay, or will it be bad? Let's see. All right. That's a little weird. But I think maybe it leaked through the side a little bit, but it didn't come all the yeah, way out. Yeah, but th that's... It, but you can peel it off. Right. It, you get the seals between the things, and that yeah. happens. The pitted so. did come through, though. The pitted did come through, but a lot of this pitted is stuff that you're going to be pulling off. Yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. So, it's, it's basically, like, where this one is, which I, I need for it to be a little firmer before I... Mm -hmm put any of this together but that will go in there oh, okay that part can probably be filed down it's probably thick enough mm -hmm. um, and I gotta figure out that's probably another foot and that is toes from something so right. um, It'll it it'll be time before you can actually try and put it all together. Mm -hmm. But look at that! It looks like a dogo though. It is a dogo. Look at that. All right, so we got the semi-finished product. So the foot's not attached, and then we have another paw that's not attached. But for cleaning up something that is pretty old and finding two pieces that have been together for a really long time, we should be able to clean up the little bit of pittedness and be able to piece these together and turn it into something awesome. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.